Hello dear students, this is Rebecca Deal from RA Knowledge Pod. Students, today we have to start question number 7, 8, 9 of the same exercise that is 1.2. And these are a bit uh, hard question actually and lengthy, especially lengthy questions. So we are going to start already. Okay dear students, this is the question. And uh, you can see this question is uh, 3 divided by x minus 6 minus 4 divided by x minus 5 and is equal to 1. Students, this is the type of question that you already have done in 1.1. In a very first question, that is uh, question number 1, also in question number 2 and question number 6. Uh, <clears throat> what you have to do actually, uh, as you know that if you have watched my videos of 1.1, uh, there is another method that we have applied uh, on that uh, point like uh, what we have done that we are going to multiply the denominator with the denominator uh, the way that you have done before in your lower grades actually but uh, here at this uh, there is another method to solve this exercise and these types of question actually uh, you can see the method that we have to multiply the whole equation now, this is called the equation why because uh, this it is having an equal with it and we are going to multiply the whole equation with x minus 6 and x minus 5 okay now one by one the first fraction the second fraction and the third number first 3 divided by x minus 6 is going to multiply with this x minus 6 and x minus 5 like how the numbers that is written with the denominator all the number that are written with the denominator or you can see the LCM this is called the LCM of uh, this fraction and what is the LCM that is x minus 6 and x minus 5 we are going to multiply the whole equation with the LCM of these two fraction that is x minus 6 and x minus 5 this minus will as it is now 4 divided by x minus 5 is going to multiply with x minus 6 and x minus 5 is equal to is as it is then 1 is also going to multiply with x minus 6 and x minus 5 now what is the benefit uh, of this method that the denominator or the fraction will be uh, totally vanishes from this step you can't see the, uh, you can see this is the fraction in front of you but here the fraction will be no more now x minus 6 is ca cancelled with x minus 6 the left term with you will be 3 into x minus 5 minus 4 and this x minus 5 is also cancelled with this x minus 5 it will be x minus 6 is equal to 1 is going to multiply with any number you better know that you will be left with the same number that is x minus 6 and x minus 5 now after multiplication furthermore when you multiply 3x minus 3 15 minus 4x minus minus plus and 4 6 are 24 is equal to and there is another method dear students if you are enough capable and if you feel yourself more cap capable you can multiply directly no problem but how I am doing so in all my question because I just told you there are some students of course they are not good uh, too much at this so I, that's why I am going to do all the steps like how first this is x and this is x minus 5 this is minus 6 and this is x minus 5 then after that you are going to find the same things like this one uh, why I am showing this the arrows or you can say the lines because they are same and we can write this way then the left terms will be as it is this is x square minus 5x this is minus 6x and 6 5s are 30 and minus minus plus after that this will be as it is it's just a kind of simplification now we are going to shift the things this is x square minus 11x uh, this minus 11x plus 30 and minus 9 now x square this minus 11x and plus x will be solve out because both have x this will be plus minus minus and this will be minus 10 30 minus 9 that is 29 students these are the small simplification and a very mm, simple methods but if you still have some problem so I'm going to make uh, I'm um, just a very important video that is whole on uh, basics algebra Th then you just watch my that video definitely your all the concept will be clear after watching that video if you have issues like that now because uh, here we are going to apply the method of quadratic formula and this is the uh, actually exercise related to the quadratic formula first we have to compare with ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 
and now after comparing <coughs> after comparing this a is equal to 1 and b is equal to minus 10 and c is equal to 21 now using the formula that is this is my this minus is as it is the value of b is minus 10 plus minus as it is the value of b is minus 10 minus is as it is 4 a is 1 and c is 21 and here 2 a that is a is 1 minus minus plus 10 plus minus minus 10 squared that is 100 when you multiply these two numbers it will be 84 and two ones are 2 then 100 minus 84 say 16 we know that 16 uh, will you please tell me is 16 is a perfect square yes this is a perfect square of number 4 that's good okay this is 10 plus minus 4 divided by 2 then 10 plus 4 divided by 2 1 for the positive side and one for the negative now this is 10 plus 4 14 when you cancel you will get 7 then now 10 minus 4 this is 6 by 2 and 3 and these are yes this is the next question you can see a bit longer because uh, there's a whole fraction not only here here and also this side as uh, students this is called the compound fraction you have saw first time when you was in class 5 and 6 7 so on of course till now <coughs> this is called compound fraction or also the mixed fraction now how we have to solve this fraction first what you have to do you just have to multiply 3 with 2 like 3 2's are 6 plus 7 divided by 3 now now this is 7 by 3 the rest of the terms will be as it is now what is the LCM now okay you have to multiply the whole equation with first you have to multiply this 3 with 2 this will be 3 2's are 6 and x and the other is x minus 1 this is called actually the LCM of this uh, you can say the denominators is these fractions we have to multiply with the whole equation with these numbers actually with the LCM actually now x by x plus 2 divided by x minus 1 is going to multiply this is x minus 1 x and 6 minus again this term as it is then multiply with the again uh, 6 into you can change these order no problem like if you want to write 6 before like you can write in a very first place 6 x and x minus 1 no problem because they are multiplying no matter uh, the order can be changed actually now 7 by 3 can be also written with this term like 6 x and x minus 1 now all the cancellation the possible cancellation we will cancel yeah, you can see that x minus 1 is cancelled with x minus 1 then this x is cancelled with x this 2 is cancelled with 3 like 2 1s are 2 2 3s are 6 and this 3 is cancelled with 6 will give you 2 all the remaining terms we have to write it them down and after that this multiplication you can see the whole multiplication process after that further simplification we are going to multiply this 4x then 4 ones are 4 this is x square minus minus plus x 14x square and 14x ones are 14x now some further simplification this will be as it is we are going to multiply uh, this 3 with the whole bracket inside 3 4s are 12 3 4s are 12 3 x uh, 3 1s are 3 3 1s are 3 this is a negative sign the sign will be changed inside now the same term will be cancelled out now these are also same terms we have to solve them you will get 9x square minus 3x square plus 12 minus 14 yeah, we have to shift these terms towards the other side that is 14x square minus 14x square minus 14x square plus 14x after that the same terms arrows shows that the same terms so we will solve them minus 14x square plus 9x square will give you 5x square then now this is the uh, standard form of the quadratic equation we need actually that form we have to go we have to work Still, we are not getting this form of equation now after comparing 
you will get a minus 5 b minus uh, b is positive 11 and c is 12 students um, you have noticed something that there's a minus sign and maybe uh, in some question we are going to take common negative if there's a in a very first term but actually what happened in the quadratic formulas no matter if there's a negative sign in a very first step because we are going to take it like a is equal to minus 5 then we have to put in the formula no more problem with this minus sign but if you're doing another method any other method normally uh, what we prefer that the minus uh, sign should not be at a, um, at a very first term it should be like in middle of the term but not at a very start but in quadratic formula let it be happen no problem now using the formula here is the formula I think so this is the most simple method of uh, solving the equations the quadratic equation once you get this one then just no problem you just have to insert the values now 11 square 1 to 1 that is minus minus plus 4 5 are 20 and 20 12 are 2 4 0 when you add these number you are getting 3 6 1 students I'm not going to do it uh, the very first uh, the uh, next step you just tell me one thing is 361 is the perfect square just think about it yes this is the perfect square of the number 19 so this is minus 11 plus 19 divided by this 10 okay now when you solve this you will get 8 divided by this one 10 after cancellation you will get 2 4s are 8 and 2 5s are 10 then this is your answer moving towards the negative number then this one and you will get your final answer this all cancellation and you are having your solution set now moving next part that is quite hard actually this very lengthy question okay now this is a divided by x minus b plus b divided by x minus a is equal to 2 now once again what is the LCM of the uh, equation that is x minus b and only x minus a these two are the LCM of the uh, equation that we have to multiply the whole equation now now a divided by x minus b is going to multiply with x minus b x minus a again b divided by x minus b a is multiplying x minus a x minus b is equal to 2 x minus b and x minus a no matter if you want to write x minus a before and after no problem now after cancellation you can see the cancellations are coming in front of you one by one okay now this is a into x minus a all the left terms you have to write now plus don't forget the signs and operations because you will be on mistake if you are not going to write carefully b into x minus b is equal to 2 now again that process x into x minus a minus b x minus a after this is ax a square plus bx plus minus minus b into b will give you b square equal as it is to x into x x square ax right you can write ax or x a no problem at all if this is bx minus minus plus ba or ab no matter now some more simplification you're going to multiply 2 with the whole the bracket now the left terms we're going to take all these sides towards the other side now the circle shows the same numbers like 2ax and this one we can add or subtract them now 2bx with this term now when you solve them you will get minus 2x square and these are the left terms and you can see after solution you will get these terms now now students what I have done here I just take common uh, here like minus is the common number after minus uh, after taking minus what will happen you can see this one now minus minus after taking minus you will take the minus common and inside the number all the sign will be changed and then you will left with 2x square minus 3x minus 3bx plus a square plus b square plus 2b now students this is another an extra method um, like step there is no need to do this step in front of examiner or uh, you have to skip actually this way why I am doing this uh, thing so that you should know where this minus goes actually uh, this is the first time that I am going to tell you 
and uh, I'm telling you again no need to do in the paper in the question while well, you are doing the solving the question this is just the wastage of time you can see but you you should know how this process happen this is a minus sign and when we say to the students uh, when there is a zero sign a zero number and then in a very next step we say that you can just shift this number or this sign to the other side it's not like that and why we are doing so is that like this is a minus and the minus one is written here that invisible one is all the time present anywhere we can fit any place no problem like you can see there is no power of x so what we will say that the power of one is uh, the power of x is one now if there is no number normally like there is no number we can say one is here if there is only somewhere x is written we can say one is mm, the coefficient of x is one that invisible number similarly the invisible number here is one like we can say minus one uh, there is minus one when you take this minus one is multiplying with this bracket then on the other side it will be divided and when zero is divided with any number like zero divided by one zero divided by two zero divided by a zero divided by b in return you will get zero that's why we can say we are going to uh, take or this minus one to the other side will give you zero and you totally have to skip this step in your exam I'm just going to explain you like how which step you have to skip after writing and when you're solving the question is that after this step this step you simply have to write zero no need to do this one you just uh, simply write zero and after now the term that is written with x square is 2 and here x is common this will be 3a and minus minus plus then this whole thing will you the formula that is the closing form of the formula that is a plus b whole square now always as now this is the standard form but this standard form is a bit change standard form actually this is 2x squared like x term all the number that is written with x and these all the rest of the number are c now what why we need it actually because this is not the standard form and we have to make the standard form to compare with this quadratic equation because we have to insert in the formula now this is your a this whole term is your b don't miss even a single minus sign you have to take the sign with this now c is this whole term now using the formula after that this is your formula putting the values this minus is as it is this is the negative value that is whole with b actually after putting be very careful students after now these are the steps that has bit like you can say uh, create a mess for you if you are in hurry if you are not uh, be patient while solving the question you so you should be very careful and relax and just be slow while solving this question then uh, the value of b is again here minus is as it is 4 the value of a is 2 and the value of uh, c is that is a plus b whole square and in the denominator this is 2 and a is 2 then this negative negative will be positive minus minus plus thanks to God uh, because uh, we are just uh, leaving this negative there's no more negative sign here plus minus minus now you can see this is the even power or this is square when there is a negative sign so in a very first step this minus will also be vanishes from here because minus minus is plus no need to write again minus sign because there's a square power it means minus will be no more then minus is as it is 4 2s are 8 and here I'm going to open the formula that is a square plus 2ab plus b square and here 2 2s are 4 then plus minus as it is now once again we are going to open the formula that is a square this is the whole a 3a square plus 2 first number that is 3a second number that is 3b plus 3b whole square now uh, we are going to multiply 8 with the whole bracket with the negative sign we are going to take inside minus plus minus minus plus minus and minus plus minus this 4 is as it is now 3 square 9 and don't forget to write square on this a that is a square 2 3's are 6, 6 3's are 18 AB, 3 3's are 9 B square, minus 8 A square, minus 16 AB, minus 8 B square will be as it is. Now 9 A square, that is minus 8 A square, plus A square, plus 18 AB, minus 16 AB, plus 2 B, 9 B square, minus 8 B square, plus B square, that is 4. Now 
Again, we are going to close this formula. Why we have to close it? Because we want a cancellation where we don't want any more the square root that will be cancelled out just right now. Now, uh, this will be as it is. Fine. After cancellation, you will get a plus b. Oh, maybe like this is an extra step. Uh, there's no need to do this step. This one. Now. 1 for positive and other for negative once I have solved for the positive this is 3a you can see 3a plus a will give you 4a 3b plus b will give you 4b then after 4 is common then a plus b divided by 4 then 4 is cancelled with 4 you will get a plus b or you can say in all the rest of the question that we have done of 1.2 or even 1.1 uh, when we get the two cases we have to discuss the two cases you uh, you can apply you can write or here now then this is 3a plus 3b minus because of this minus this is negative sign uh, now yeah, here is the negative sign a plus b while taking the minus sign inside the bracket minus plus minus minus plus minus after that 3a plus uh, 3a minus a will be 2a 3b minus b will be 2b divided by 4 after taking common you can see there's a common number by 4 now after cancellation 2 1s are 2 2 2s are 4 you will get your answer okay dear student that is the last part of the question uh, that this exercise is now finished uh, we are going to solve some more question of 1.1 that left with us um, now I'll see you in the next video dear students you have to work hard on that exercise because uh, these are not only the important question but also uh, very very you can see lengthy question especially these question so I will see you in the next video till then take care bye bye